this is a video about uh, the new version of Vidash and you can see I'm now sitting in a, a V70 2011 and we just uh, built the latest uh, Vidash which supports uh, change configuration and I want to show you something interesting uh, for guys who uh, transfer cars from US market uh, to European market. Uh, as you can see, uh, now I have a, have a odometer in uh, miles and also radio can tune only frequencies which are used for American market so you can see this is the car V70 2011 and uh, the Vidish now supports translating DIM translating ICM Also chip tuning for this car. Here you can select what you want and then just go. But uh, we want to see change configuration. So here we have uh, ECM. The uh, sorry, uh, the SEM tab. Uh, here's the instrument cluster is highlighted for the current configuration. Smiles. And for frequency, we have US frequencies. So we want to switch the frequencies to European and the instrument cluster also for Europe. So you can see state here those frequencies. And now we try to translate. Sorry, translate, change the configuration. So, I'll select it and now just go. Okay, we want to use this configuration. You can see the car is black, sleeping. Now wake up. And it's done. See? And here. Frequencies. Now we can tune all frequencies. So we can redetect the car. So detect is done. And you can see instrument cluster we have for Europe and frequencies also Europe. So now we can, for example, switch off the cruise control or switch on the heater, but we don't have a hardware for this. DVD region. This is uh, useful for uh, for cars with sensors, where you can play DVDs, heated seats. Well, what we already have. Seat heat calibration, and so. But more more uh, 
more possibilities will come soon. For now we have only those, but tomorrow will be more. So, uh, I think Widesh can be useful for you. So please check out our YouTube channel. And if you are interested, please let us know by email or just give us a call. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.